This is First Coast News on your side. Right now at 11, two different verdicts in the corruption trial of two former JEA executives accused of conspiracy and wire fraud in the failed sale of JEA. This is video right here of Aaron Zahn and Ryan Wanamaker walking out of the federal courthouse in downtown Jacksonville today. Aaron Zahn found guilty of both charges, conspiracy and wire fraud, while the jury for Ryan Wanamaker found him not guilty on both counts. Zahn did not answer our questions as he walked out of the courthouse, but Wanamaker did, calling the jury's decision today a relief. It's a relief. I'm, I'm happy. I'm so thankful for the jury and the decision that they made. And um, I just, that, that's all I can really say right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry. I'm ready, ready to get back to life. And thank you for staying up with us tonight for First Coast News at 11. I'm Heather Crawford. Anthony Austin has the night off. We begin tonight with analysis and reaction from today's verdicts. Riley Phillips is live tonight after speaking with a JEA union representative. So Riley, how are members of the union feeling after today's verdicts? Heather, they are happy and ready to put this behind them. But I also spoke with our legal analyst who believes this will not be the last time we hear from Don. I was ecstatic for my members and for the JEA employees. Ronnie Burris, a longtime JEA employee and current business manager for one of the four JEA unions, feels like justice was served in federal court Friday. I know all the employees are happy that had to live through what they did, through what he put them through. Uh, they're very happy. Burris and members of the union have been vocal about their feelings toward former JEA CEO Aaron Zahn and former CFO Ryan Wanamaker. They felt like they were being pushed around while Zahn was CEO. They had to live with <clears throat> just the pressure of not knowing if tomorrow they had a job. And while he says he would have liked to see charges brought against more people, Burris was not surprised by Wanamaker's not guilty verdict. I don't believe they really wanted Wanamaker. He was just caught up in Zahn's mess. Jacksonville attorney and First Coast News legal analyst Shannon Schott says the jury heard testimony that made Wanamaker look better than Zahn. The jury heard that Wanamaker was this great guy, super trustworthy, whereas that testimony did not come to fruition for Zahn. So certainly that could have been what made a difference for this for these two juries. Schott also does not believe this will be the end of this case. She expects Zahn's attorneys to appeal. There could be conflicts in the evidence that maybe the jury ignored. Certainly there could be things that they argue. Additionally, they can also appeal the sentence if and when that is imposed. Burris has been receiving messages from his union members celebrating the guilty verdict. He says they are ready to move forward from this difficult time in their lives. I think that that's what we all have to do now. I mean, it's something that we'll never live through again, and it's something that we'll never forget. And Shannon Schott also pointed out the chances of getting a guilty a not guilty verdict are very rare. She says there is a less than 1% chance someone is acquitted in a case like this. And Ron, Ryan Wanamaker is now one of the very few have, who have received a not guilty verdict. Zahn will be sentenced in June. And members of the union are hoping he receives the maximum sentence, which is 25 years. Live in Jacksonville, Riley Phillips, First Coast News on your side.